the, one thing that we talked, you saw there, as much much as it talked about when it comes to your career, is that you, I mean, you, you're you're healthy, you've got all together, but you lived, man. So how do you is how do you think you managed to kind of keep sort of together? Base. I the, don't know. I think I think I think probably because I ate a lot. I loved food, mm -hmm. and that saved my life. Because all my drinking buddies in those days, and, and Peter O'Toole is about the only one left now that, that's still alive, and uh, he looks green. <laughs> I, I don't know, but he's still the same wonderful creature, but he, he doesn't, I don't think he has a liver. <laughs> it doesn't mean it just goes through, right? Uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, but uh, he didn't eat, you see. None of those guys ate very much. They, they only liked booze. Right. And I loved my food. I mean, I got happily sozzled, uh, but I couldn't wait for a French dinner yeah. <laughs> to follow. The, you the, can you imagine if you guys were doing what you, like just your career now when there's TMZ and all the paparazzi? Yes. Do you like? Would it have been different? What? The, your, your, your careers and the way you were able to conduct yourselves. <laughs> Yes, I, I think it would. I think they're much more straight-laced now than they were. I'd love to have been there in the 30s when it was a small town. Such creative stuff was going on there. Such great movies were being made. And it was a fun place to be. It was like a little provincial town that everybody... And everybody knew everybody. There were bigger personalities in a funny way because there was more time for the personality to spread. Right. Now it's so business-oriented that... It's, everything is done in such a rush. Nobody sits down and really ha has a leisurely time with life like, like it used to be. I miss that. And enjoy the moment of it. But I also like the speed of things. It keeps me going. It keeps me forgetting that I am near death. <laughs> <laughs> That's the way you say it. It sounds all right, you know. <laughs> Near death. Yes. Do you do you do you have uh, moments at two o'clock in the morning if you're up, or you just kind of go, oh, yeah. Ah, there's a pulse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>